just uh, looking at you, you're playing uh, Osprey on Friday night. Uh, obviously, um, kind of a, a dead rubber, uh, really. And I suppose you're looking looking toward the uh, following week and facing Monster in the Pro 14 final. Uh, I was just wondering, uh, Joey Carberry has made uh, his comeback and certainly has added something monstrous game. I just wonder what your your opinion on on him is and how he's playing. No, oh, first of all, I think it's great to see Joe uh, coming back and and playing some rugby after all what he has gone through, you know, and and it's it's good for him in terms of um, monster. Um, to be honest, we haven't started like preparing that game because um, we, we've been dealing with uh, this period that I think it's very important for us. And, and Ospreys at the weekend, uh, well, on Friday, it's it's a tough game and, and they have a lot to play for. And we want to finish our regular season the best way we can, you know. And and I know it's been a great result down in, in Sevre last weekend. and. And um, with a lot of young players in there, I, I think we we've around fifty seven players already uh, that played this season for Leinster. So it's it's a great achievement and everything. But there are loads of things, loads of things that we we need to improve. And uh, so our main focus uh, it's been it's been on those things. Um, after that, we'll we'll see. Yeah, we'll we'll with Scout Monster definitely. It's it's. It's great to be in a final. It's a great achievement, but uh, and but but we'll look after that after Monster next week, you know. And and in terms of Joey, as I said, it's great to see him playing. I think it's it's good for him, special. And I I'm sure he worked really hard to to come back. He's been from uh, a lot of disappointments lately. So um, and 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 it's good for Irish rugby as well, you know. Okay. I know. And finally, for me, uh, Philip, uh, ahead of the um, the monster game and, and playing Ospreys on, on Friday night, team selection is obviously a big thing in, in relation to you. You try out uh, some of the younger guys and also bring in some of uh, you know some of the experienced guys and how how you uh, how you pick the team. Yeah, the, the the thing is not that we tried or it's um, we 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 are in a situation where we have like. Uh, more than 15 players in national camp and, and that's the whole team in national camp and then we have um, some injuries and or some guys that hasn't been available so we always try to place the <laughs> the strongest team we can and we have for the weekend you know and and we'll do the same for Ospreys I think it's for me it's a great opportunity for for the guys who have the opportunity to play uh, put up their hand and 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 make a statement to to go and and try to be picked for the for the following week that is the final of the tournament and the the following week is the last 15 of of of, uh, of Europe you know with all the the guys coming back so yeah I think it's 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 uh, we will pick the strongest team we have uh, available you know okay thanks very much yeah. Dan, you have a couple of questions for Felipe? Yeah, Felipe, how you doing? Good. good. Um, Felipe, there's been a rise in in, uh, in Welsh rugby, and you know, particularly with Scarlets under under uh, Wayne Tivac. Um, there were also Scarlets were also in the European Cup finals now as well, in, in the quarterfinals. But it hasn't been quite been the same for Toby Booth. Uh, the the asked phrase haven't been playing that well. How do you rate them now? Well, depends. If you go to results, the Ospreys are a third in the in our conference, so they've been, yeah, they probably they they didn't have uh, some performance that they would like to have, but uh, but but they've been um, quite good this year, and 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 I think they oppose a, a real threat for us, you know, in terms of they have a lot to play for because it's their last game in the regular season and. And they have Glasgow a few points behind with a game in hand, and um, uh, definitely they need the points coming here. They'll feel comfortable on, on coming here, although they haven't won the last uh, three games. I think they 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 started really well the, this year, so they won the first three games, and now uh, they've been 
um, they lost just in in Scotson and they have a very good game down there in Glasgow so they, they'll come definitely to 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 get a result here so for us it's 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 a big challenge you know and we are looking forward to that indeed and um, obviously we have the the European Cup game uh, coming up um, I suppose um, the home draw was that was that always something that that Leinster tar was targeting well, we, we I, I think we had a, the, the, the home draw because we won two games, so we, uh, it's fair enough. Yeah. Like so, so it's something that definitely we 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 always want. To, I, I think it's it's better to play at home and 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 you know your your all the all the hassle of traveling and so on and so on. But uh, it, it's what it is, you know. Um, with all these situation current situation and and with the tournament being fixed or or change in the middle and so on uh, you have to adapt and you have to get on with whatever you you're you're done there at the end of the day if you want to be champion you need to beat everyone you know so um that's what we have we have to learn at home and and we will when whenever comes that you know in two weeks time we'll, we'll be prepared to to have a a good game would, would you Sorry. would you be of the belief that that French teams like Toulon don't travel well? No, no, not at all. I think that's that's a that's a myth. You uh -huh. know, uh, I think it's a myth in terms of uh, French teams don't travel well. You know, the Toulon is full of internationals as well that they're not French, so uh, they'll be and 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 cup winners and World Cup winners. So uh, they'll be more than comfortable on 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 coming and playing, uh, but they know it's a tough and, and they'll play a, a good side that is Leinster, but they are a very good side. They are in, in good uh, momentum and, and, and they've, they've been having a good season so far. So it will be a defi definitely a big challenge for us. Cheers, Dan. Thank you. Yeah, I do. Uh, hi, Felipe. Come with us. Yeah, man. Good stuff. I'll switch back to English now anyway. But um, just on Joey Carberry, you kind of touched on him briefly earlier. Um, I know he left for Munster, I think the same summer you came back uh, to work with Leinster. But uh, um, obviously you didn't get to work with him. But what is it about his game that you particularly like? No, well, I think he's a, it's an overall a, a great footballer, you know. And when you see a good footballer in a, in, in a rugby pitch, it's like you admire that. He's a, he's. He's good kicker, good, uh, good, good uh, footwork, speed, good skills. Um, he knows the game. He understands the game. He controls the game. So, what else? I, I like it's all that that I like, you know. Uh, but I would say the same with a lot of of good footballers. They they stand out when when you see them inside a pitch. You know, a guy that can can play and and feel the 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 game the way he does. So. Um, yeah, I haven't coached him, but definitely uh, I've seen him a lo loads of times, and, and he's a, a, a very interesting player to, to watch, you know. 